Mr. Roper Eviction in Limo Black. Now, Quartermaster is a pretty much hated brand. Um, their, their owner was this guy that was claiming he had the state-of-the-art facility in Texas. And he was making all these like super high-tech knives and whatnot. And I guess come to find out, he was having them assembled in China or something similar like that. Uh, I don't know. I've watched the guy um, interview on YouTube before, and he seems he seems pretty douchey, to be honest. Um, you can watch and decide for yourself. But, yeah. The knife itself, though, fantastic. I love this knife. I've had a couple Quartermasters, and they've all been pretty good, you know, despite the, uh, the company's reputation. Um, this knife itself was one of my first knives that I got when I delved into uh, knife collecting, and I love it. I... I buy, sell, trade a ton of knives, so for a knife to stay in my collection over a year, it must be pretty good. I mean, I really only have a few knives that I've that I keep, you know, longer than a few months, and this is one of them. Just because that action is great. Look at that. It drops like a guillotine. Now, I'm sure that has a lot to do with the stupid thick blade. It is incredibly thick, um, but. You know, it doesn't hurt to have a couple of those knives in your collection with a really thick blade that you're not worried about ever having to break the tip. It does have a Tonto-style blade, so this thing is meant for piercing. Um, it is a titanium frame lock with bearings. Um, nice oversized pivot there. Um, it does have a reversible left or right hand carry clip, which I love because I'm a lefty. Um, the frame lock is very, very smooth. Or, I'm sorry, the, uh, the lock itself is very easy to push over. Um, it's not too stiff, and the lockup is great. It is right at, you know, probably 20%, if that, and it's solid as can be. There is no play in this blade whatsoever, um, and just the action is phenomenal. You've obviously got two opening methods here. You've got the traditional flipper, and you've got, you know, your, your cutout like the spider toes. you got the spidey hole, and it's just, it's just a, a pleasure to flip open and close. Um... This knife has an S35VN blade, obviously DLC coated. Um, you can see it's got some writing on the blade here. My phone won't focus. It says uh, 89 of 300, USA made. Like I said, <laughs> that's up for uh, debate whether it is USA made or not. Um, they come with you know in a, in a little box with a, with a little card with a signature on it, yada yada yada. But the knife itself, yeah, this thing is sweet. I really like it. Action's great. Fit and finish is good. Doesn't have any hot spots. Um, I've never had to take it apart because why? The action's perfect on it. Lockup's perfect. Um, I've never had an issue out of it at all. And when I first got it, I had a hell of a time switching the clip over because they did lock tight it in. So I just heated it up and then flipped it over and haven't had any issues since. Um, but yeah, these go for... I paid like 180 on Blade HQ, but now they uh, they're they're down to like 119, 120, which is a freaking steal. I mean, I know, like I said, the reputation of the company sucks, and you probably have no warranty on it because I think they've gone out of business since. But for a S35 VN blade, titanium handles, reversible pocket clip, big thick ass piece of S35, I should add. Um, Great action. I mean, you get a knife that falls like that without having to shake it at all. I mean, that's it's pretty incredible. I don't have really any other knives that drop that hard and that fast. And, uh, you know, this one's only $119, and I've got an $800 hoback right there that's not as smooth. Um, I'm not saying this is good of a knife as, as the hoback, but I'm just, I'm just saying it, it does have comparable features. And uh, the action is just incredible. Um, it does have a hardened steel insert, as you can see, my light's dimming, it's getting dark, it's getting in the evening, uh, not sure what else to say, I think it's an overall great knife, like I said, it's a good price, good steel materials, it's a good EDC size, it is a little bit big, it's a little bit blade heavy once you open it up, because the inside of these, uh, these handles are milled out to, to reduce the weight, so it's not a heavy knife, I think it's right at 5 ounces, the handles are very light because they're extensively milled, but with the blade being so thick that does add the add some weight, so overall I think it's at 5 ounces, um, oh yeah, I did do the size, uh, the blade itself is like 3.5 inches, um, yeah, pop this out, yeah, 
focus, focus, focus. Yeah, your blade, you're, you're right at three and a half inches. And overall, you're just 